Hi guys, it's Sock and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to achieve these awesome uh, gummy bear smushy reverse stamp nails using Creative Shop 87. So this is the image we're going to pick up. Um, I've already prepared my nail art mat with a coat of clear polish and let that dry. I'm just going to transfer this stamp over onto it with my clear stamper. You'll notice that the little gummy texts um, around the bears didn't make it onto the final design. Um, they would have turned out backwards. There is a way to fix that, but I didn't really think that they added anything, so I took them out with a Q-tip. Um, I'm now just going to be using the Nail Artisan Fine Detail Brush, and I'm going to go in and colour in all of the gummy bears. Uh, the blue that you can see is Model Zone Turquoise Sea, and the subsequent pink colour uh, will be Model Zone Island Hop. Um, it's quite straightforward, I only really wanted a couple of colours for this because I know the background is going to get quite busy. So they've set aside to dry for 10 minutes and now I'm going to paint my nails. This is EDK's Dolly, uh, it's a really thick one coat white stamping polish that I apply to most of the bases of my gradients um, and smushes and uh, water marbles. It's a really nice solid option. Um, for a single coat white. So to achieve the base what I'm going to do is I'm taking the Model Zone Soft Pop collection and I'm just dabbing um, a few drops of each colour polish onto my silicone nail art mat in quite a tight formation. I want them to be close to each other but I don't necessarily want them to be overlapping completely because when I push down with my stamper obviously those colours are all going to merge. So once I'm happy with the number of dots that I've got I'm now going to take my clear stamper and I'm going to gently push into the polish. I prefer to do my smush this way because then I can see exactly the effect I'm going to be getting on the stamper. So I've put some latex around my nail and I'm just going to now squish that onto the finger and as you can see there's quite a big patch of pink in the middle. I wasn't really happy with that because the gummy bears were pink so I'm just taking some extra pieces from the sides and dabbing those on. This is where a clear stamper is perfect for this kind of thing because you can see exactly what you're doing. So I'm now going to peel up my gummy bears and this was really tricky because there's still a lot of clear polish and not really a lot of strength or thickness to the decals. Obviously the more colours you put on the thicker and more sturdy the um, decal becomes. So I struggled a little bit with this and it was a little bit faily but luckily um, nothing tore or ripped and it was just really lucky that they actually came off in one piece. Um, so positioning them on my nail with a pair of tweezers. And then when I'm happy with the position, I'm just going to gently push down with my fingers and just smooth everything out. It's really key to be quite gentle so you don't smudge or rip the decal itself. They are still quite fragile even though they're dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through with a metal cuticle pusher and I'm just going to cut around the edges of um, my cuticles and the design. Um, obviously it's just to get rid of the excess and what's not shown, what I did actually, actually skip in this video, was me just going in then after I'd removed that with a clean up brush and some acetone to tidy up the edges. So now it's on to top coat which is the final step, uh, this is sesh feet and as you can see I'm just making sure that it's fully covered and making sure to wrap the tips of my nail uh, just to make sure that this manicure is going to last. Um, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if there are any more suggestions of any more tutorials or um, design ideas that you would like to see, or if you um, do recreate this design, please do tag me um, on Instagram. And if you like this video, please do consider giving me a subscribe and a like. Thanks very much guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!